Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and I don't totally understand the, the reasoning behind this question, but I'm going to go with it. He said, is there any way you can use the type or manually insert your pillow dimension tool? Dimension tool, he called it. So if we go to that node or that node and right there and move it up, and if you look, it's a small font because I've got it set small, but, but the... The thing about it, you can set this for anything, and then you can set the, you know, you can set the um, font to anything, and it's pretty cool. You can actually set, you know, to make the lines thicker, so your arrows will be thicker. But I'm going to answer the question: How you would do it individually? Well, our rectangle is 20. Well, it's actually 21.97 but the parallel dimension tool is just, it's not off, it's just I've got my, um, let's just show you. If I do that and set the dimension and then go and grab it, if we set it to more uh, decimal places, we don't need to go that far, but we get that 21.97. But in real, ask, real uh, just as easy, just uh, do the 21.2. So what I would do is, is type out 21.2, maybe zero inches, make it whatever size you want. With that selected, hold down your shift key and double click the rectangle box. That puts a rectangle around it. It will make it a little thicker. So you really have to click off of it and grab the rectangle. And let's nudge it out of the way for a second. And hit F12 and open up your pin dialog and let's make it three points, make it a little thicker. And then just nudge that thing back. And of course it's too close to the number so you could play around with that. But then just put it, you know, in the center of the page. Uh, since it is a rectangle, we'll be able to put it in the center. I didn't grab the, the text, but if we'll grab all that, it should snap to the center right there and then just take a line probably the easiest thing to do would just be to draw a line hold down the control button and go from one side to one side and then change your variation or change your arrows on that side to that you can't see them because they're so thin so let's make them that three points and now you can see your arrow but we have a box in the middle but what happens Let's nudge that out of the way and nudge our numbers out of the way. Let's nudge our rectangle back. We'll take the parallel or the parallel or the virtual segment delete key and do this. But watch what happens. It creates arrows on the other side now. So what you have to do is take this line and go control K to break the line in, apart. And then these are individual lines and you can grab this line and then just go up and make it a solid line. Grab this line, go up. Well, it's actually that one. Well, no, it'd be this one. Go up to a solid line, and now you have it, and then you could nudge your number back, or you could actually make your number smaller to fit in that rectangle a little bit better. I actually didn't really moved it, so let's nudge it up, and there you go. That's how you would do it manually. I do not see the reason behind it. Um, the virtual, uh, the parallel dimension tool does a, such a good job. And if you want to make your numbers bigger to actually show a customer, before you click anything, go right here and change it to whatever you want. It'll bring up this and, and, and check dimension. And now when we use the parallel dimension tool, when you draw the line, it'll actually make it bigger. And if you want the line thicker, let's just delete that. Before you click anything, grab this, make it 100 points, parallel dimension tool. Grab your line before you click anything or hit the F12, dimension, and make it, you know, let's make it four points so it stands out. And let's make it, uh, let's make it black. So now when you draw with your parallel dimension tool, 
start at that edge and go to that edge, it's going to be the letters, uh, the, at least the line is going to be black. Parallel dimension tool is going to be a big size so you can see it. And you could, you know, you could still change it. You just check on your font. And at this time, you could make that letter black. Or you could make it bigger. Whatever you want to do. The cool thing about the dimension tool, no matter what size you make it, it moves the lines for you. Where you're not going to have that when you draw it manually. I hope that answered their question. Thank you for watching.